Hello everybody, it's Ashley Garner with Ashley B. Garner and Associates Real Estate Professionals at Intracoastal Realty in Wilmington, North Carolina. Today we're going to talk a little bit about a recap of some information that I learned last night from an economic symposium and a leading economist from Fannie Mae was there and they had all kinds of charts and graphs and told us lots of stuff. But two things that stick out in my head. Uh, one is there's not a new, enough new construction homes being built right now to keep up with the growth in the population of the United States. So if that trend continues, eventually, theoretically, we will run out of houses. Um, now, multifamily development or rental development is picking up some of that slack because that's been real busy lately. And you can probably, in your own town, you probably know of lots of new apartment complexes being built. Well, that's why, because landlords see this uh, lack of supply of houses and the renters are increasing so they're building these places for people to rent so you, you probably will notice that in your town but you've got uh so you've got people that aren't buying houses that normally would be buying houses and those people are the millennials and they're you know somewhere 18 years old to 34 years old well these people are living in their parents basements they're rooming in houses with other people they're renting when normally historically that age group would be buying houses now they're not well, why are they not uh, because they watch their parents get crushed by the bursting of the real estate bubble number one maybe uh, they want to be flexible they don't want to just be tied to one place they want to be able to move when they want to move change jobs when they change jobs uh, they don't want the responsibility of home ownership. So, you know, if, if something breaks, just call the landlord instead of fixing it yourself. Uh, so those are some of the reasons. Also, student loans are a big problem in our country right now. And there are lots and lots of people in that age group that have student loans that uh, they can't or don't think they can get a loan to buy a home because of that. Uh, the other thing that's interesting is that obviously baby boomers are a big deal. So they're age 50 to 68, 70, somewhere in there. Well, these folks a lot of times have cash, so they're able to go and buy whatever they want to buy because they're downsizing, things like that. Then you've got the fact that they also want to be flexible. You know, they're not as old as uh, you know our grandparents were. They're young, still moving around, doing things, sailing boats, taking trips. So they don't want to be tied down to a house they've got to maintain and cut the grass all the time. So they're looking for low maintenance living, one level living, uh, you know, grass taken care of by the homeowners association, etc. So, you know, what does this all mean? And it's hard for me to put into five minutes what we learn in two hours, which could have taken four days. But I think it's a great time to uh, be a landlord, number one, because there is not enough supply of houses overall. There are more age groups that are renting now than used to be renting. So keep that in mind, because we talk a lot about investments here. It's a great time for that, and that demand's gonna continue. Um, the other thing that I take out of it, I'm a pretty optimistic fella. I think that a lot of these factors are gonna change, and it's not gonna be like uh, what the prediction is. In other words, the millennials will start buying houses, they'll start having babies and more traditional lifestyle, and the baby boomers will buy plenty of houses too. So I think everything's gonna be fine. But uh, I'll try to post some of these charts and graphs for you to see on the website, and uh, we can talk about some of this stuff if you're interested. Until next time, this is Ashley.